Today we're going to study uh, the production of the electromagnetic waves. So let's see if we take some wire. Here is a wire here. Okay, this is a wire. If you have an electron, let's see if an electron is here. This electron is has a is gonna give us the electric field. So if they have the electric field, and if this electron moves, you will generate magnetic field. So the motion of an electron of a charge generate or of a charge generates a magnetic field, and that charge already has an electric field of its own. So. If we have a current, let's see like AC current, alternating current down this line here. Now, what happened with the AC? So you send the current down the wire. Here is the wire. Okay. You send the current down the wire. So at certain moment, you have so many electrons. This is like a bump indicate that you have many electrons here. So you have a bunch of electrons, and then here you have only little, and here little, so they are moving. So in this location here, you will see few electrons passing by, and then at certain moment, you're going to see a big group of electrons passing by. And then they get to the tail, the, this one, and as it pass, let's see, here is the velocity of the group of the electron moving this way. Now... When the electrons, the, the electrons are moving, some are moving fast, some are moving slow, and some are medium. Medium group is here. So they're gonna get here. This group here, the fast group is gonna get here. And then when it gets here, you're gonna see some electric field because you have few electrons passing by this line. You see electric field. And then as this group here gets to this point here, then you see a bigger electric field. And then as this group here, the back group gets here, you see a little bit. So the electric field will go something, let me I put a graph like this. Will go something like that. This is the electric field. At certain point when the electrons are moving at this point here, the electron didn't get into this point A. Let's call this point A. Didn't get here. So what happened? You don't have any electric field. Now the electrons get to this point. And now when it gets to here, you have so many electrons. And each one is giving out electric field. So you have a bigger electric field. And then as they pass by, they get here. You have little. Now this is AC, which means it goes back and forth. AC goes back and forth like that. So this group is going to pass through and then come back. Pass through, come back, like that. On the way back, remember they're going the opposite direction. So you're going to get small group coming this way. So we go like this. And then this big group here is coming back. It's going to pass through this point A here. Then you get like that. And then this group here, a little bit of them here, passing this way. Then you get small of them here. And then when the group goes to the left, then you have nothing. So it goes something like that. Now, these electrons are moving up and down the wire. While they're moving up and down the wire, they're producing an electric field. So we can say the electric field go like this, sinus willow, like that. Okay, it goes up again. So the electric field, as the electron move back and forth, they generate this electric field. Okay, it's going like that. Now, these electrons that are moving, once they start moving, they're going to generate a magnetic field. Okay, let's assume this electric field is vertical. Okay, it's going, this is the ma magnitude of the electric field, and then it's vertical. 
like that. This is the magnitude of the electric field. Okay. Now what happened is, because the, uh, the electrons are moving, they're gonna have a magnetic field. Let's see when we start at this point here, the electrons are coming, they didn't get here yet. If the electron didn't get there yet, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get uh, a magnetic field because the electron didn't get there, didn't get to this point. Or we can, let's take this point for example, point A. We have this group of electrons coming in like that. Now, if they're coming like that, at this point here, remember, this electron didn't get there yet. So we don't have any electrons, so there is no magnetic field. Now, once these electrons here start passing by, remember these electrons are moving with that drift velocity, they're moving, so they're gonna have a magnetic field. But this group here is small, okay? Not as big as that one. So you're gonna have some magnetic field that's gonna be small. So the magnetic field is gonna go something like this. This is horizontal. And then when this group here get to this point A, you have so many of them, many electrons passing by point A and they're moving with the drift velocity. So each one has its magnetic field. So at this peak here, when you have many of them passing by point A, they're gonna generate a huge magnetic field and that's when you get to the peak here. Now, they'll keep going. This group is coming here. This group will get to point A. So you come over here, okay? And then when this group passes by this group here, passes by, you get to point zero, and then you have nothing left. Now, they're gonna come back. The electron is coming back. And then you have the same phenomenon, like that. Remember, these waves here, they're horizontal, okay? These are vertical, and these are horizontal. So, um, they're going like that. So the electric field, I put here, this is the magnetic field. The electric field and the magnetic field are actually perpendicular to each other. So I put here E is perpendicular to B. Now, the electrons are just moving with the drift velocity, which is very small. But this wave here, the electromagnetic waves, is moving with the speed of light. Okay, so you can picture of this, you can picture this bar here as an antenna. An antenna, the signal comes in, so the electron will go up and down, keep going up and down, and they're gonna send out this electromagnetic wave in space. So this is like a transmitter. It transmits radiation, electromagnetic radiation. Okay. So by having the electron go up and down, we're actually, actually, actually generating electromagnetic field. So this is the production, how you produce electromagnetic field. You just use a wire, send the current down that wire, and then it's going to, that current, you have it move, charge, charge is gonna generate electric field. Since they're moving, generate magnetic field. Now, if they're moving back and forth, then you see, you're gonna get this phenomenon here, these sinusoidal waves, okay?